hey nom noms i hope you guys are good i'm not wearing any contact lenses so i just don't see how i actually look um so yeah thank you guys for joining and actually watching this video um thank you so much for actually coming back to my channel uh, for those of you who are new and you would like to come back please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notifications bell that's right next to it so that you're notified every time i post a video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below share the video if you may <laughs> but yeah guys so basically um from the title of the video i know every youtuber says this um i am literally just showing you see my braids i've had my braids for like six weeks now and i'm literally gonna keep them maybe for one week more but because they look like this they look really tardy um they look really oh God. um so for let's say for example after you um have skipped three weeks you start getting like your hair growing you start getting hair growth um and obviously you need to kind of like brush it but i'm just going to show you a way on how you can make them look a bit more fresh than what this is um just to keep you going I, for the last few weeks you'd like to actually keep it so let's get right on to the video okay i'm being my goofy self um okay so i'm just going to show you what i am going to be using as you can see normally with braids it looks fine here the problem area is like right next to your scalp okay so um i have a towel obviously because this is a messy procedure and i also don't have makeup because i believe in doing this if we, let's say for example i'm doing this because i want to go out i believe in doing this first then doing my makeup so that you'll see why i'll explain why so basically the things that i will be using in this video so what i really like and appreciate about this um routine is that it doesn't need a lot of things so the first thing will be a water bottle filled with water you can put conditioner leave in conditioner in it um a bit of it here because obviously that will mis moisturize your hair because the water is hydration and you know leave in conditioners are there for moisture so i use that i have that i've got a toothbrush an old toothbrush you know you know get when you gotta lay your edges you know then i've got an an extra hold edge stay child so this is not a got to be glue because i don't think i would use anything that harsh but kantu has an edge stay child i know a lot of natural hair brands that have edge control gel you can use any of that i use this um i got this at the clicks curls last year i hope you guys have bought your tickets for clicks curls so that i can see you guys there <laughs> so anyways i got this in, on, in a clicks curls um goodie bag had it since it really lasts long um those products in general that they give you they really last long the hair product that i'm going to use is this native child um castor oils and hair growth oil and obviously this is going to be very useful especially for my edges um because you know braids they tend to they tend to pull on your edges you know because i'm always in a bun um and also it's just a lot of retention so this will help also to feed into my hair cuticles and my actual hair and then the last thing that i will use is this duke this is a sateen duke but you can get um a silk duke as well i don't have a silk duke but this is basically to make sure that it lays and then i'll do my makeup and whatnot and then i'll take it off maybe after 30 minutes because then it would have set so i'm going to show you obviously after it's set first thing you need to do so basically this guys is just so i do this whole spraying my hair with water every single day um and then i put leave-in conditioner then i'll go in with the oil so um it's almost like an loc loc method but in the most minimal form ever i try to stay off the cream which is the c because i mean it's braids i don't want to have that white line but i want to keep my hair fed so that's why i do it every day because by the next day it's already dry the hair would have sucked all of that moisture so this is basically this is basically what i do whether i have weaves or whatnot i'm talking about the loc method now but now i'm just showing you how to just make sure that this this situation right here 
looks a bit better than this so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to spray water directly into my my scalp right and then when after i've sprayed i'm going to try and massage gently into the hair because what normally happens is that because the hair is dry sometimes the penetration might take longer okay so i'm gonna spray 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 i don't know if you guys can see i'm gonna spray into my hair so now i'm focusing here but normally on a normal basis i'll literally do my whole head so i'm just focusing here because i'm laying my edges right i don't want to be laying dry edges um and moisturized edges because that's another thing that creates like dry hair which creates hair breakage dandruff so you want to keep it hydrated and moisturized okay so also i must say guys there's nothing as therapeutic as spraying spritzing water on when you have braids i love it i love it sometimes i used to do it like even two times a day okay so what now i'm gonna do is don't worry about the water fall off um i'm just literally gonna brush the hair a bit back gently gently um so it almost assumes like a neat shape Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put like the most tiniest of the oil because you want you want your your edge control to have a lot of grip. So if you're going to put a lot of oil, then it won't have that um, that control, basically, that control over your edges. So literally, this is not even pea size. This is the smallest amount, you guys. Okay, so I just literally just massage that into my hairline um and just do that gently you see i'm not even putting a lot because i'm spreading it over um okay i'm spreading it over i hope you guys can properly see what i'm doing Can you slam? So even here, I just put a bit of oil. As you can see here, the braids are creating a bit of hair retention. That's why I want to take them off in like a week max. Literally a week max. I'm not going to be out here while my hairline is suffering. I need to do some treatments and regain this hair back. And I'm going to take my brush again. Small energy. And I think why it, it the retention not doesn't really come from the pulling because of the wig. For me, I think it comes from almost the dryness. Like the water literally gets sucked like that by the hair. So, and because it, it was winter for the longest time, it's only now. It's like maybe from last week that it started getting warmer you know hair dries up so quickly in winter it's ridiculous okay so now now that is done that is done i'm gonna try and put my hair back because now i'm gonna start applying this baby over here i think you get it on a bigger container if you're actually buying it i think this was because it was a free sample so yeah um so Okay, so what's happening here is that I'm waiting for it to dry a bit. I'm going to wait for like two to five minutes so that the hair, not to dry, but to be a bit less wet or damp. And then I'm going to come back with and put in edge control. Okay, you guys. Um, so it's been up to like a bit, like two minutes or so. So now the edge control looks like this ah! <laughs> okay <laughs> that was weird it looks like this you guys i don't know if you guys can see it it looks like this 
it's like a jelly like a hard jelly because it is a gel i mean okay so what we're gonna do is what i like to do is i like to do this to it so that it's a bit softer then i apply it right apply 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 as you can see it's already my hair is already taking form like you see my hair is already taking form but now it's got this white white residue what we normally do with the white residue is that we brush it off I know you guys in my most of my videos you feel like i'm putting a lot of product this is not a lot of product now i didn't put a lot but the thing is because i put the water and the oil it's almost like reacting to it and yeah so basically what normally happens is that with edge control it normally dries clear right but i'm not gonna let it dry first i'm gonna have to first control it first so here's how it looks then I'm going to try and control it. Um, that whole edge control. That's the whole thing. Drive. Okay, so. I'm tilting my hair because I'm looking at the mirror. I really can't see. So I need to see what I'm actually doing. Because I want to lay my edges into patterns. And weird stuff like that. But I, I hope you guys can see as my hair is like this. As to what I'm actually doing. Positioning every single hair that's around a certain braid together with the braid so that it's neater and then the edges are laid. I only twist the hair once because I want to I don't want to twist it too much. I literally go tsh with the hair right so i'm doing this also guys by me brushing by me brushing, I'm also getting rid of that white residue. you guys can see what i've actually done um now my hair i can literally be able to let me tie it into a bun so that you guys can see it properly right let's see what i actually did um so you can see the slickness okay. 
so this is how my hair looks compared to what it was i mean they look so fresh they look so pretty um you'd sway i literally did them like a week ago or something <laughs> okay maybe i'm reaching but now all i'm gonna do is just take this and then i'm gonna put it in here on here around so obviously you can do this at the back as well so that people don't get confused especially if it's a bun people don't get confused unless you're going to leave them hanging but if it's going to be a bun please do it at the back as well try and brush it out put some gel even if you don't do baby hairs you just literally comb it up um so that it's neat so that now you don't have your at the back and sleek her at the front and people are like so confused about okay what's happening so don't make it so obvious that you literally laid your edges on the front only and you don't care about the back so now i'm gonna literally stay in this for like 30 minutes 30 minutes is even a reach because this thing will probably be dry in like 15 to 20 minutes but i'll stay 30 minutes then i'm gonna show you guys how it looks after 30 minutes and hopefully it's so basically what normally happens is that after the 30 minutes what normally happens is that it will dry and then it will fall it will literally assume that shape and it's going to stay like that you like for maybe the entire day right um and yeah basically for me an average lasts like an, an a day because obviously when i'm washing my face i also wash it off then i'll just redo it again the next morning so basically yes that's how i lay my edges that's how i keep them fresh uh-huh 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 so yeah that's how i keep them fresh that's how i keep them vibrant vibey nom noms so i'm back for the reveal and it's two hours later <laughs> i took a nap um so let us see Mind you, I haven't seen this. This is literally me saying, I want to reveal it with you. I want to see how it will turn out with you. So if it hasn't turned out well, awkward. Comment down below if you guys liked this video if you guys did tell me what you liked about it tell me if you're actually gonna try it out for yourself to keep your beards looking fresh looking awesome and please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and put the bell click the bell next to it so that you're notified every time i post i want to get to a thousand you guys and obviously thousand means give away honey <laughs> it's definitely coming it's definitely coming so yeah this is what it is bye